Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a pretty good one. Um, still hot and humid. Chance of rain, pretty much. Same forecast we've had for a week or so. But, uh, doing all right. Can't complain. Let's see who we uh, got hanging out with us today. Looks like there's a bunch of folks already over here. I see Big D's in the house. It's a happy Monday. 76 going to 81 in beautiful Brooklyn, Michigan. All right. Troy Pritchard's in the house this morning. Troy, did you see the thing I sent? I tried to send something. I don't know if you got it or not. But uh, today's kind of an anniversary of sorts for you. I don't know if you saw that or not. Uh, let's see. Earl Walker's in the house. 73 going to 86. Thumbs up, he says. Yeah, we got a few of them going on over there. Steven Toronto. Hey, good morning, sir. Paul Stewart. Good morning. Larry Gaunt, good morning everyone. A little rain from Hannah, yeah. Yep, Jesse from JJ Woodshops in the house this morning. How are you, Jesse? Um, Janet Moore is here. How you doing, Janet? Kevin Ells, LB Sharp is here. How you doing, LB? Let's see, Bill Hoffman. Yeah, it's very hot here in Terre Haute. Woke up to 80 this morning at 5 a.m. Thunderstorms to roll in later today. Yep. It's hot pretty much everywhere, I think. Bart Bixel says, good morning, everybody. It looks like it's going to be a scorcher in Marysville, Washington. Maybe the third real hot day of the summer. Oh, man. We've had way more than three. Uh, we had way more than three just last week. Uh, Steve Gronsky, good morning, sir. How are you? Janet says, all I have is a black screen. Can you hear us, Janet? Uh, let's see if maybe uh, I haven't looked at Facebook, and I know that's where you're watching from. But I know, uh, let's see if I scroll down here and find it. No, I'm seeing it. You, may, or you didn't hit the thing and, you know, put the pause button on it, did you? I don't know. I'm seeing it over there. Michael Bell's here this morning. How you doing? Dave Max out for his walk with Jack. Good morning, Dave. How you doing? Tr Troy says, I seen the memory you posted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to remind you that it's two years now, buddy. Time to time to step it up. Let's go. Uh, Doug Sisk in the house. Good morning, Doug. How are you, sir? Uh, hey, there's Hobby's Woodshop. Good morning, Hobby. There's David. He's here. Morning, David, and everyone, he says. Facebook is working for Dave Mack. Yeah, I don't know, Janet. You may have to just click out of it and click back in or something. But you know how Facebook is. Facebook's like one big virus anyway. All right, I think we're caught up on the, on the comments here. I was, uh, oh, there's Jim Sinicola. How you doing, Jim? Going to get some rain today. Uh, I was looking over here at the, uh, you know, the on this day in history stuff just to see if there's anything really stands out. There are a couple things. Um, if I can find them again, where'd they go? Uh, maybe that isn't the page I saw them on. Okay, on this day in history, July 28th, 1914 was the beginning of World War One. So the war
war. What, what was it they called it? The war to end all wars or something like that. And it didn't. But uh, let's see. I saw something else that was pretty interesting on here. Now I can't remember where I saw it. Oh, I know what it was. I'm just not to it yet. Where the heck did it go? Anyway, I think I can remember. It was on this day in 1996. We had the, uh, I thought it was over here on this one. Today's historical events. Yeah. I don't know what this stupid thing is doing. Anyway, um, on this day in 1996, at Atlanta Centennial Park, you know, Atlanta hosted the Olympics back then. And uh, that was when they had the, what they're now calling a terrorist attack. Uh, the bombing down there at Atlanta Centennial Park, which uh, I, I'll say it's a cool place, but not so much these days because there's so much stuff. You do, you wouldn't want to go down there alone these days with what's all the stuff's going on. I don't know where that went. But anyway, I saw it in 1996. And, of course, there for a while they were blaming, uh, what was that guy's name, Richard... Uh, trying to think of the guy's name. They made a movie out of it. But it's the guy who found the bomb or the backpack or whatever it was and was trying to get people away from there. And uh, Doug Sis says, your Facebook stream is messed up on mine too. Must be local. Yeah, it must be because I got lots of other... There's George H. Rothbus. He's on Facebook. Um, yeah. Thank you, Dave Mack. Richard Jewell. Yeah, so they made a movie out of that because they thought, they thought for a while he was like a suspect and they were really doing that guy wrong. But uh, anyway. So, yeah. 1996 when that happened and then I thought I had some other cool stuff here um, no I don't, I don't remember where it was now hmm. on this day in 1971 the lunar roving vehicle first used on the moon. You remember that? That little car thing they drove around on? That had to be pretty cool. Be cruising around, bouncing on that thing. 200, what is it? 236,000 miles away or something like that. Alright, well that's, uh, that's the only things that I saw that kind of jumped out at me. Yeah, I'm still seeing the the stream over there on Facebook, Janet, so I don't know why you uh, why you're having problems. You can always join us on YouTube, you know, if you're uh doesn't cost anything to get a YouTube account. If you got a Google account, you've already got a YouTube account, you probably just don't know it. But, uh, and I got some pictures in today. Dave Clemens sent, uh, looks like a whole bunch of pictures on his thing here. Let me see if I can get those out of the email and save them someplace so that I can find them. Let's see here. Yeah, that's where I want to put them. See, I think there's one more here. Okay, now let's see if I can get them going over here. And I will share the pictures that he's sent over. Let's see, I think we need to start with this one. Yep, oh, all right, there we go. 
All right, y'all ready to see uh, see these pictures? David says Facebook is working fine for me. Watching in my car at job site. Okay. Larry's got a good on this day in 2020. Things are still screwed up. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, Jesse says Richard Jewell. Yeah. Earl Walker says Facebook is working where he's at. All right. Um, yeah, it could be a local Facebook thing, I guess. I don't know. All right, let's, uh, let's look at these pictures that, um, Big D sent. Here we go. This, he says, here's one still in the form. This is his concrete countertops. It says this one weighed around 125 pounds. So what, uh, how, th how thick is that? I'm assuming you got a bottom on that thing too. How, uh, how thick does that end up being when you take it out of the form? Like an inch or so? Just curious. All right, I'm going to go ahead and step through these. Okay, there you can see his room. Okay, I see the bottom on it, obviously. And... I like that. I like that. Nice and clean. Looks good. Looks like it might be about an inch and a half thick, though. I don't know. We'll see if he puts a thing in here. Or maybe I should check his email, see if he says anything. He says, here are some pics of the concrete countertops I made this weekend. Biggest one weighs around 125 pounds a piece. And the small one, 65. Thanks for sharing with the group. Okay. Hey, we love share pictures. You know. Yeah. I like that. I don't really know anything about concrete countertops other than that they're heavy. And I don't know really what, what you do to finish them or any of that kind of stuff. Maybe you can share that with us, Big D. Tell us how you, tell us what you do. I'm assuming you put something on them to seal them to, to seem like you'd have a lot of concrete dust. Um, let's see, he says one, I think that's supposed to be 1.5 inch, yeah. Yeah, so about like thickness of a two before then. All right. I see is that all the picture. No, there's one more. Yeah, looks good. I like it. I can't wait to see. Uh, oh, I see you got the little uh, sander there. Going to get them all slick and stuff. Here we go. He says, I will be coating them. Well, where is it? I will be coating them with epoxy and some logos to dress it up. Oh, that's cool. All right. All right. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, starting to take shape now. Okay, now I notice out here, it looks like you just got something propping this one up. I guess you'd be sticking something else up under that sign. Hey, look, Janet's back. Did you have to go kick it or something, Janet? You know, I'm wondering, did y'all see that little 30 second, uh, what are they call them things, countdown timers? I just I just came in here this morning and saw that it's some new feature that Streamyards had, has added, and I tested it once before I went live, and I thought, yeah, I'll just play that just for the heck of it, see how it works, and maybe that messed something up. I don't know. 
maybe Facebook wasn't ready for that. All right, I think that's it. I think that's all the uh, photos. So thanks for sending those in, Dave. Janet says she had to slap it around a bit, yeah. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, yeah, Paul saw the countdown. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I wasn't even going to use it, and then I thought, well, so, yeah, I, I will, every Sunday night, uh, well, it's Sunday night for me. It's at 9 p.m. It's 6 p.m. Because the guys that uh, are the developers of StreamYard, they live in Canada, but they're like way on, you know, like Vancouver and more on the left coast of Canada. And so when they do it, it's 6 p.m. Pacific, their time, which makes it 9 Eastern, my time. I hear somebody sending me something. Over here. That's ah, just regular junk stuff. Um, but uh, the every every Sunday, which like I said, 9 Eastern, my time, they do a live stream using the same software. And they, if they have any new features, um, you know, they announce them and stuff like that. So they've, they've added a new feature. Well, they've added like two or three things. One of them was that, that countdown timer. Um, another thing is for the people that have a basic plan like me, you can now stream to three destinations instead of two. So, uh, I don't know if I'll think about doing that. I, I used to stream when I first started this, I streamed four places. I went Facebook, YouTube, not with the coffee sessions, but with the other show. YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, and Periscope. But I don't have any followers on that. those other two. So, Steven says the countdown timer is going backwards. Yeah. Jeremiah says, how about a concrete top on a Gatton CNC? I don't think so. Everything's hard enough to get level. But <laughs> you know, without that. Let's see, Matt. Awesome wood things. Hoss is in the house. How you doing, piano man? Good to see you here on the coffee sessions. Jesse, yeah, I saw you. You're going down that rabbit hole, aren't you? Yeah, I saw your uh, your post where you had the, the picture of that heat press. Man, you mess around. You got a nice one. That's, that's way, way more than what I get from mine. And you got the eight and one. I think it's got a the extra, uh, you know, like for the, for the mug press thing, looks like you got three or four things. I didn't have, but just that one thing with mine, which does work for the 11 ounce and 15 ounce coffee mugs that I do. No, they still have not done that. In fact, um, there's a guy named Michael Daniels who I watch his stream every once in a while. He does like a tinkering with tech. Uh, show and he's he's wanting kind of the same stuff I'm wanting you know we're you know we'd like to be able to pin comments and uh, more layout options where you make the the guests big but yet keep the host small and stuff like that and I wasn't even going to mention it I was watching the thing but I wasn't even in the chat thing commenting and He's got where now he posts. He says, yeah, don't forget that one Dave Gatton wants. He wants the guest big, host small and stuff. And I just told him, I said, yeah, I'm just tired of asking for it, you know. I've been asking for it pretty much from the get-go. And they keep doing, you know, not, not that these other features are bad, but I can't believe that not more people want that because if you're interviewing somebody, that would that's the perfect layout to have the guest big. And the host small, but it ain't happening yet. So I just quit worrying about it. 
it is what it is. Yeah, one heck of a dust storm to surface. Yeah, he's talking about on if you put it on the gat. Yeah, It'd be a little tough on the bits too. I would think. Uh, YouTube is where all the cool kids hang out. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Stephen Toronto says getting pitch black outside more rain coming all righty well um yeah i don't really have any exciting news i watched the news this morning you know the weather's pretty much a rinse and repeat type thing so no big news there um did my last See and see what Dave get in live stream last Saturday. Uh, if any, if any of you, because I know there's some folks here that sometimes watch that. Yeah, I'm going to do my last one. I'm going to free up my Saturdays <laughs> and do uh, do a new kind of live stream. I'm going to, you know, because I every time I've ever done one live from the shop where I can actually do a hands-on thing and show people things about the machine those always seem to be fairly popular so i'm changing it up matt i don't know if you were uh, watching you probably weren't but um yeah i'm going to be changing it up and i will be broadcasting broadcasting it live to my facebook timeline and then I will share it to the Gat and CNC Facebook group. So it'll be those two places. And then it will also go to YouTube, but it's going to be basically just being recorded there because I'm going to uh, have that one unpublished. And then I'll have that where it's showing on my website. So if anybody does want to watch it on YouTube, which is technically what you're doing when you're watching a video off the website my website uh so yeah it's gonna be uh gonna be a little different let's see christina pritchard what is this random thought i really enjoyed seeing the little dave picture this morning oh you mean that memory thing yeah i think i was uh I'm not mistaken, I was uh, styling my little cowboy shirt or something back then with a buzz haircut, I think. Yeah, that was my uh, that was my first grade teacher, Mrs. Brown. Back in the good old days, man. Back in the good old days. Yeah, Regis... Uh, Regis Philbin passed away over the weekend. 88 years old, though, you know. Had a good life. Good life. Can't, uh... Dave says he'll be painting the lower cabinets today. All right. Hey, there's Johnny. He's on Facebook. How you doing, Johnny? Good to see you. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's what she was talking about. The Yeah, you know, I always check my, you know how Facebook is every morning you get up and it's, you know, you always have these different memories and then, you know, it'll have one and then you can click more memories and you can see all the, all the ones. What is he saying? Eight class, crazy. I'm not sure what that means, Doug Sisk. Hey, there's Clyde Labonte. He's here. How you doing, Clyde? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Like I said, my my uh, new thing will probably. I'm probably going to do the first one on August fifth, and I'm going to try to get. Uh, 
I bought some new um, equipment, I guess you'd call it for live streaming. And I'm going to try to, uh, because it's always, it's when I've done lives from the shop before, it's always kind of a pain because, you know, my shop's a shop. It's dirty, it's messy. And so when I go to set cameras up, you know, you get all this extra stuff out there. And, uh, you know, setting it up and getting it just right. But I'm going to try to work this week on getting, oh, he says we had eight in my class at New Winchester. <clears throat> I think there was more than that, wasn't it? Let's see if I can find that picture. Just for fun. Let me go over here and pull it up. And, we, and we'll and uh, we we'll name people, Mr. Sisk, because you probably know a lot of these people. Oh, I know what, I know what you're seeing. Yeah, I, I just realized that's not the class picture. Let me share the screen. See, this is somebody, this is uh, Deanna, Deanna Mitchell tagged me in this post. And this is like the class pictures that she taped on this thing. And then, of course, she's got Mrs. Brown. So that she says, she says me. So there's uh, Deanna. Which back in the, back then it was Deanna Kelly, as we all know, uh, Lois Hine, Rex Woods, Diane Campbell, Keith King, Dixie Plunkett, yours truly with that awesome cowboy looking shirt, and then Jill Mendenhall. But um, but yeah, so that's where you're getting eight from. But there was more than that in the class and. Uh, let me take a minute here, and I bet you I could pull that up. Because um, I know I got it on here somewhere. I have got a ton of photos. And, you know, if, and when you put this stuff on Facebook, you don't really think about it. And then after, you know, a year or so, you look, and you're like, man, I've... Facebook knows so much about me or the internet knows so much about me because we share stuff. We put it all on there. Yeah, it's in here somewhere. It may take me a while to scroll down here and find it. Um, bear with me a second. I will find it. Man, look at all these pictures. A lot of dog pictures on my my profile you know that? <laughs> a lot of rocky jack type pictures oh there's my time's up let me see if i can find that thing i know it's on here somewhere there's some pictures from the reunion a lot of, a lot of rocky pictures there's rocky and jack yeah let's see here Real quick, I'll see if I can. Oh, I got there's the one where I had the snake in the garage, the copper hat. Y'all remember seeing that one? There was the copper head, a big one, or a big one as far as copper heads go. Yeah, he was, he was there in the garage that day. Fun times, man, I'm telling you. Where in the world is that picture? I probably should sort these and put them in some kind of folders or something. That'd be easier to find. I just have them all piled into one thing. There's Rocky and my chicken. Bless her heart. I miss my chickens. Well, I miss the eggs. But yeah. Where in the world... Don't tell me I'm going to scroll all the way down through here and not find it. Here's another, here's another couple of good ones here. This is the, this is when Jack was skinny. And look at the mud all over his head. Look at him. No, not crazy. 
Jacobs. He, had, he was back then. He was, like I said, he was skinny and he had got up under my shop and, you know, it had been raining and stuff. And I don't know what he was chasing under there, but he was just come out of there with his head all muddy and stuff. And he was loving it. Well, I know that picture is in here somewhere. There's a lot of pictures from the wood show. Holy cow. There's uh, I always take a picture when somebody visits. I always take a picture of them, all the visitors to my shop. So I've got a lot of photos of people that have come for one reason or another. I don't know if I've ever showed y'all this picture or not. See, we're just going down memory lane here, aren't we? Let's see if I can show you this one. See all these machines? This was my garage back when it was much cleaner. And this is this is how I used to sell. These is the, this is the old metal sidewinder machine that some of you may not have ever even seen before. But what I used to do is I would assemble each one and test it and then ship it out so i think there's no that's wrong went the wrong way there was my son he was helping me at one point uh testing one out and there's the old uh old t-shirts still still the same phone number Let's see. I gotta get going here. We got we got work to do today. More snake pictures. More copperheads. Man. I just know I got a picture in here somewhere of the first grade class. So many pictures. Yeah, I need to go through and clean this up. There's just just ridiculous trying to find something on here. There's uh well more wood show pictures. I'm really, you can probably hear my computer, it's whirring because I'm really trying to scroll through through these pictures. It's, uh, now we're getting to some old photos here. Maybe, maybe it's in this bunch. Oh, for crying out loud. Went through all that and it's not in there. I'll have to find it and show you. But anyway, Doug, back, back to the original uh, conversation. Um, we had, I, I can't remember, I think it was about 12 to 15 in that first um, New Winchester class. Those eight that you saw, then we also had like John, John Allen Mendenhall, um, Kelly Hickman uh, was there. Billy Baker, I think, was in her class. Um, Luann Wooten. And I don't know how I'm remembering these names. I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday, but I can remember some of these names from 50 years ago. Anyway, my time's up, y'all. We got to get going. Got to get to work. And y'all got to get your Monday started. So, hey, there's Marty Hempsel. How you doing, Marty? But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here. Everybody have an awesome Monday, and have an awesome week. But uh, come back tomorrow.
bring you coffee, and we'll uh, see if we can get a, a Tuesday going. See y'all.